as excited. Uh, yesterday, explaining why it was so difficult to land on Mars and uh, tell us what all happened there, kind of describe everything for us, where the rover landed and why this is uh, this place is so special. Well, it's special because we are trying to see if life ever existed on Mars. So they landed in Jezero Crater. And during the week, I spoke with one of the principal scientists for the mission, Dr. Roger Weens, and he says that this is a prime location to search for that past life. Listen. It's uh, a medium-sized-ish lake, about the size of, say, Lake Tahoe or something like that. And, uh, uh, but uh, it's dry now, uh, but we can clearly see there was an inlet channel and an outlet channel on this lake. And uh, even better than that, there is a, an amazing re remnants of a delta. And we have never been uh, around a river delta on another planet. And so this is what got all of these ex scientists so excited about this landing site. So we are very certain that water flowed through this site billions of years ago. And since life as we know it needs water, this is a prime location to search for any of that primitive past life. Now we've got the first image that came from the rover and the landing site doesn't look like a whole lot to you, but that's what they needed because you have to land this thing in a very smooth, flat area without many big boulders. And that's exactly what they did. They stuck the landing. So well done to everybody at NASA. This was a very challenging thing to land on Mars, and they did it, Rhonda. <laughs> they certainly did. Um, so a scientific question for you. Exactly how is that rover going to determine if life ever existed there? Well, actually, it won't. What it's going to do is drill samples, put them in these tubes, leave the tubes on the surface of the planet, and then another mission, which hasn't been designed yet, by the way, is going to come in about 10 years, gather those tubes, and bring them back to Earth so they can be studied in the most sophisticated labs on the planet.